Craig Slauson here. And, oh, excuse the, my messy hair. I just woke up here not too long ago. Just woke up. It's Sunday morning, and oh, it's so kind of tired because last night's blues festival went on a little longer than I thought it was going to be, and because I woke up at five o'clock in the morning yesterday, uh, because I had to work that day on Saturday, I wasn't able to. Well. I, I worked and whatnot, and then, then I just uh, went to the blues fest right afterwards, and I, I didn't get home until about midnight, I didn't actually go to bed until about maybe 1 o'clock, so I'm still a little tired, but uh, luckily today is a Sunday, and, you know, kind of the day of rest anyway, and mom and dad are still in Thief River, I'm sure they're going to be in Thief River for a while, until they come home tonight, but I figure, just to get this out of the way, and this is going to be uh, the vid for the weekend, because I don't have anything else planned for what to do for the weekend. So this is going to be a video for number 80, day number 81 and day number 82. You know, I know I hate combining, you know, videos and all that stuff, but I'm just too tired. <laughs> and I hate to make that as an excuse, but we're almost done with the vlogs anyway, so it really doesn't make a difference. You know, like I said, I'm just doing this just for fun. And, you know, as long as I do something, as long as I show something, you know, and besides, these, this video is going to be in, in a few parts anyway, so, yeah, it might be in four different parts, probably, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, as I promised, and this is uh, a little uh, thing I want to do at the end of the video, uh, I wanted to uh, do that review on the Money in the Bank DVD, and, and I have it right here. And I didn't forget about it. I just, you know, like I said, I was busy with other things. You know, when you work five days in a row and you have to be up at five o'clock in the morning every day, you know, and I have to do that again this week uh, until Friday. So you get Friday off and then Saturday, Sunday again. It's just so much, you know. The job that I have is easy, but it's just the point of not being able to be a night owl like I, you know, normally am. But. I think this is the first time I've ever done a vlog where I've just woken up and, uh, you know, got myself kind of tired, but... Okay, so, Money in the Bank, the DVD. Uh, I, I was actually very, very excited to purchase this one. Uh, I mean, it, the thing about why I've been purchasing or why I started purchasing WWE DVDs and pay-per-views when I normally wouldn't do that much in the past, I think that the quality of the content's a little bit better that it has for the last couple of years. But then again, I don't know. You know, then again, I'm not too sure. I mean, because I like buying the pay-per-views because instead of paying $45, you know, where it's live, you know, I just get my results online or I go to like justin.tv or, you know, ustream.com to, you know, or who's ever broadcasting it, you know, for free. Uh, the only pay-per-view that I've actually paid for that I've watched the whole thing from start to finish with WrestleMania, only because it was WrestleMania, and I want, and I never knew that you could actually do on WWE.com. You could actually order pay-per-views, even if you didn't have pay-per-view. I don't know if any of you guys really know that. If you if you guys die hard uh, wrestling fans, WWE.com does offer a video on demand service for their pay-per-views, and uh, I think I think it's pretty. Uh, excited that they do that because I don't have pay-per-view here at the house. Uh, the last time I ever had pay-per-view was when I had Showbrook's cable and I had their digital cable plan and it was a, uh, what was that channel? Oh yeah, On Demand, you know, was a pay-per-view service or In Demand or whatever, which was pretty cool and it still is, but, you know, we don't, my family's never had pay-per-view, they've never had digital cable, they've only had basic, you know. Which is fine, but, you know, it's just cool that WWE.com offers that service, you know, in case you want to purchase it. The thing is, though, it can still get kind of spendy. But they do still do throw in some cool stuff here and there. Uh, like, I think the deal was if you ordered a pay-per-view and you were a new member, you get, like, a free trial for WWE 24-7 or Classic on Demand or whatever for a month online. But anyway, so what can I say about Money in the Bank? Uh, the, the whole event was pretty cool. The matches were, were pretty good. Uh, 
The only thing I wish that there would have been one more Money in the Bank ladder match. I mean, it could have been for the Intercontinental Championship. I don't care, you know. Uh, the thing about the Money in the Bank, though, is that it, it, in its past time, it's been a, a really great, you know, match because there hasn't been that many superstars. Now they are adding eight superstars. I think they did that started in, like, 2008, I believe. They started adding eight, as far as I know. So it used to be, like, seven, you know. But... WrestleMania's Money in the Bank the, uh, event was, well, it wasn't an event, it was just part of WrestleMania then. Uh, it was okay, but I think there was too many superstars in the ring. You know, not enough room to do a whole lot, you know, but whatever. Uh, the thing I like about it, and for if you haven't seen it, well, you know, I'm going to give a spoiler out anyway, just because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, but you might still want to see it anyway. I mean, don't take my word for what happens, but, uh, I'm really happy with the people that, that win it. I think they fully deserve to win. If it would have been somebody who was a, uh, a champion before, uh, I, then I, I thought it would have been super, like if Randy Orton would have won, it's like, he's been champion already. I mean, he's been a great champion, and he'll probably be champion again, but come on. You got all these young, talents, talented superstars, let somebody else win. So I'm really happy that at least Chris Jericho, uh, Randy Orton, and Edge were not the victors. Uh, the fact is that The Miz was the victor for the Raw Money in the Bank ladder match, and Kane was the victor for the SmackDown Money Bank uh, ladder match. In fact, in this event, he actually cashes in his paper, or his uh, brief, briefcase, you know, and becomes World Heavyweight Champion for the second time. This guy should have been champion many more times than that. I don't understand why they, they make him be a, he's supposed to be this big monster, you know, but yet they make him into, you know, they make him into a big card wrestler or whatever. So I don't know. Uh, of course,